Hi guys, this is Manindra and today like I will be going to explain about Pinchil Rehost thing over you. So generally why we do uh, rehosting? So rehosting generally we do to replicate the production environments to either test or development environments. So if there are any new changes that are going to be performed on the production that can be pre or validated on the test and the development environments so most of the cases this is why we do a rehost process so coming to work, let's go through the list so generally we duplicate the production data sets to test and uh, develop environments and to du duplication is done to eliminate risk so generally when we have any new changes that are need to be done on the production environments so which, uh, yeah we don't do it directly right so we do it through either from starting from a development environment then we move to test then do we validate then we move it onto the production so next let, let's uh, have an quick overview how our uh, like architecture overview of our environments so here you can see right like you have we have a development environment test and the production so here the developers develop the program so after they develop the program they check in and they checking and this uh, code is maintained by the sub uh, source control management error or SVN or github so we do check into the integration system where the initial uh, smoke testing is done then it's being deployed to the test so in the test environment a complete validation takes place in the production then at, la at last the production comes into the picture where we deploy our uh, validated build so now how our rehost process come to the coming to the picture is like whenever there is a change that needs to be done on the production environment that needs to be like replicated like production environment has a lot of data like production data which is like uh, having all like uh, documents paths so that needs to be replicated on the test to develop our existing production environments requirements so generally what we do is we take the source code and the LDAP which is lightweight directory access protocol where a local local uh, users are stored on the windchill so it's a uh, directory of the windchill which we call as LDAP and the database and the file vaults so file vaults are if we have a, a separate file vaults then we can then we need to copy or else it's not mandatory so it's always uh, preferred to copy the vaults to So what walls? Walls are the uh, like uh, reference repositories of uh, the documents and the parts in the windchill. So this production is cloned or um, I mean to say rehost to the test and the development environments. And again the same cycle continues. The developer develops the requirement and and they check in the code to the source manage source code management here for example see here we can take an svn or github they are like almost the same but uh, there are few features the feature differences in between like svn it's like an uh, freeware and whereas github we have a public uh, public public access history but there are the private uh, we need to have some purchase then let's move on to the next slide so generally the rehost process uses few systems 
the target system so particularly here we need to know what would be our target system so we need to plan like on where and from where so where and uh, from where is like what is the source and what is the target then what are the prerequisites we need to do so we need to plan these steps before trying uh, proceeding to the repost so coming to the staging area staging area is like if we don't have the communication between the source and the target mm, take an example if you don't have a communication between the production and the test so we need to make some staging area so where we can store our data like the database and source code file vaults and LDAP so, so you can see here uh, some pictorial uh, representation copy of source code <coughs> and, app, and the database which is of source I'm talking about and the vaults so these all the data needs to be copied to a separate environment where the target system has access to so like we need to make sure here like the entries in the LDAP and the database should be modified as per the target system so like uh, say example like in the LDAP we have config configuration settings in the backups like we have configuration things so there we need to change our uh, paths as per the target system so this is just a pre like an uh, prerequisite that we need to do and in the database we need to update the file paths Thank you very much. Please let me know if you have queries on the process how we do the repost. Thank you.